and check out the palm trees, man. Well, here we are. We've arrived at North Palm Beach late last night. Got in, got everything situated. Roddy Rossborough welcomed us into his home and his boat. And it's going to be hard to really get much better than it already is. And we haven't even started fishing yet. So we're going to get out here and do something totally outside my norm. We're going saltwater fishing. We're going to try to catch some snook and who knows what else because I won't even know what they are. Roddy's going to have to tell me what we catch and how to get it off the hook. So stay with us. This is totally different. I'm Nathan. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. Outdoors, bucks, bass, and beers. You can tell Roddy, the man captain over here, is taking care of things and getting the boat all ship shape. And it's just a real brief matter of time, and we're gonna start catching them like crazy. Right, Roddy? That's correct. <laughs> we got any minute now. Any minute now. <laughs> Pull in and park for a minute. We're going to Lot Brothers, an old uh, tackle bait store here in North Palm Beach. Let's see if we can get some uh, some live shrimp. These shrimp came from the North Fork of the Holston River in East Tennessee, right? That's, that's correct. These are special Tennessee shrimp. Special bread. <laughs> just for North Palm They're Beach. mean. They're mean. Okay. That's what I like. I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. That's the thing about a local tackle shop. You can come in and get your bait, and usually before you leave, you've got a general idea what they're biting because they want you to catch them. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, There's a couple of those today. Yeah. Two or three. You need some shrimp. Sure, we need some shrimp. We Absolutely. gotta catch some fish, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got one day he caught a pompano, nice. a trout, and a snook. Things look just like those DOAs, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. But they can't compete, can they? No. These, no. these guys, these guys do a little something special in the water. That's a real deal, aren't they? That's a real deal. Right there, that's, and that's the shrimp boat, right? Yeah. That's what the bait comes that from. That thing's been running there forever. We didn't have any circle hook last night when we were rigging everything up, but we got there and got started. Roddy had out all his uh, braided lines and up with 20 pound braid, 40 pound shock leader. Cigar uh, fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon. And to be honest with you, I'm having a real difficult time tying knots with 40 pound. That, that'll work right there. The old timey fisherman's knot. Crashing on bait like that, there's going to be some other fish around them, so it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Man, they're right there in the very corner up there, aren't they? Pinned up. In, in here they go. Here they go. Boom. Oh. Boom. 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 You're going to free line it or use this with a live shrimp. That's all you do with that thing, just jerk it like that? Yeah, just pop it. Oh yeah, he's hooked up, man. Had a boy rod. There he is. What is it? Looks like a trout. It's moving towards me. Oh yeah. Oh, snook. Snook. That's awesome, dude. You're on the board, man. On the board. Easy, easy uh, combo, easy bait to use. Oh, yeah. Now that's a snook right there, huh? That's a snook. That's what we come after, right? Woo, they're tough. All right, now, what is Not a normal... the size we wanted, but uh, it's a good start. What's a normal keeper size if we were going to keep them? What do they have uh, to There's be? a slot limit from 28 to 32 inches. 
Oh yeah, hook up. Hook oh. Up. On the on the swim bait. It's not a stick, is it? <laughs> no, I don't think it's a stick, but I don't think I've turned <laughs> him yet either. Oh no, look here. It is a stick, only it's a flat stick. This is yours, Roddy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, oh man. <laughs> I'm on the board. You're on the board with a skate. I'm telling you, man, if it swims, I'm after it. it don't, it's all about the hey, jerk today, man. That's right. Bring them over here, boys. Push them this way. Oh, yeah. Up, I'm hooked up. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, One chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Freddie, what am I doing wrong? Just because something appears easy doesn't mean that it is. It's just like what you say to all your clients. A small mistake now can add up and cost you much more through your future retirement. How many folks do you know that are retirement ready that are off target? that needs your help to get back on track. Exactly, but how do you hit the target every time? Just like this. It's a proven process. Take control and own your retirement. Contact the Coastal Financial Planning Group today. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. No matter your destination, ride on a Kimco ATV or side-by-side -side and take control. Built tough, packed with power and full of features to work hard all day and play harder all weekend. Whether you're hauling hay to the shed, running the toughest trails, or heading out for a weekend hunt, you're confident, ready, and in command. Payments as low as $59 a month with 1.9% APR for 36 months during the Kimco Ride-On Sales Event. See your local Kimco dealer today. Kimco, choose your own path and ride on. I tow over 30,000 miles a year. That's why I choose MotorMate. When towing, it's important to tow with confidence, regardless if you're going only a few miles to your local lake or 2,000 miles across the country. And one of my favorite things about MotorMade is how compact it is and how easy it is to stow away. Now that is the deal. MotorMade, proudly made in the USA. Next week's preview brought to you by SRArmory.com, where shooters come to shop. We've got two turkey hunts, one in Tennessee in the snow, one in Virginia on our farm with my dad. Then we're going whitetail hunting. That's what I'm talking about. You hooked up, Ronnie? I'm hooked up. Is that my pole? Yeah, it's your pole. Like, What's the deal just here? Bar just hey, borrow it. There's something wrong with this picture. <laughs> What do we got here? Trout. A trout. A trout. We never know. We're, th we're three species and three bites. That's great. That's really good. Now those are good eating right there. Those are good eating. Speckled trout. Man, way to go, Rodney. Nice. I tell you what, this is a whole different deal for me right here. We've caught three different fish, three different species. The really thing that's really kind of got me concerned so far, Roddy got my fishing pole the last time and caught the last fish, so it's really my fish. So I'm going to try to get even with him and catch the big one, so. Oh, he had it that time, boy. <laughs> what can you say? 
Thieves yeah. and robbers is what yeah, they are. Yeah, that was are. a thief. I found the catfish hole, Roddy. I'm going to try to stay out of it. <laughs> What you got? Species number five, ladyfish. Is that what? <laughs> That's an excellent tarpon bait right there. Is it? <laughs> okay, I have no clue. Roddy says it's a ladyfish. I'm gonna take his word for it. But that is species number five. Oh, what you got, Roddy? Are you hooked up? I'm hooked up. I've got a, uh, looks like a jack. Species number six here. I'm going to lose count. I have to take my shoes off in a second to keep up. <laughs> uh, What's the fish? Is that, now they call them jack. Is that a jack carvel? That's or? a jack carvel, exactly. Is that a C or a T? Carvel or travail? Uh, C. So these guys get a little bigger and they are amazing to catch. I'm telling you, they're not real big, but it is fun, man. It's fun and it, you never know what you're gonna pull in. Yeah, and it's R&R. &R. We're having a good time just out here catching fish and something new, relaxing. <laughs> All right. He's, gonna yell He's talking you. to us. Hold him up here and let's see what he got. Cool. First fish I caught in probably 20 years. Oh man, that's cool. Good job. That's Good what job. it's all about right there, dude. He hammered it. Oh, what is it? Species number? It's the eight. What is that? That is a mackerel. A mackerel? Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, ain't Spanish it? Spanish mackerel. Look at that. Species yep. number eight. That's number eight. That's definitely got teeth. Definitely got teeth. It's all in the way you work your shrimp. <laughs> You're gonna have to help me, Rodney. You get out of your way. Son, that's a speckled trout. That's right a big there. trout. Nice. That's what we've been looking for. I've got him. Hold on just a sec. That's a good one. Nice trout. What you got, guys? This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Looking for a unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Take in the natural beauty of the mountains, rivers, and lakes. Enjoy area parks and endless opportunities for outdoor fun. Play, retreat, relax and soak up southern charm that is truly unmatched. Experience world-class lodging and a taste of Kingsport's local flavor. Good times are made in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Nathan, that was fun. I got a lot of bites, had them on, just couldn't put them in the boat. Well, Nathan, I think I've seen your problem. Uh, we're using the same bait I am, but you don't have any hooks. Tracy, if your retirement investments had performed the way mine had, you wouldn't put hooks on yours either, because they'll get hung up and you'll lose it. That crankbait's got to last me 20 years. And I have some investment options that are safe, secure, and guaranteed. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. Great fishermen depend upon accurate marine charts. Navionics Plus offers more lakes, the freshest data, sonar charts, and the flexibility to choose only the lake charts you want. Now you get the same detailed charts for the best named plotters on mobile devices and tablets. Visit Navionics.com and download the boating app and try out the web app free. Save a lot of time and boat gas by locating the best fishing spots at home, or on your mobile device before going to the lake. Oh yeah. What you got, buddy? I've got a big, I think it's a shark. Shark? That would be our 10th species. Oh. He probably chewed through the leader. Rodney, we're Fish on. 
Look at that, beautiful fish. Nice. Hold on, buddy, we'll get you right here. You go. Oh, yeah. You can get to it. <sighs> nice fish. Good fish. Back in the water. Oh. They got some. They got some gills too. Gill plates. Those trout really have a, uh, a slimy covering on them. They're they're uh, that, that slime protects their body, keeps them uh, from getting diseases and stuff like that. Well, we come to the end of the day, Roddy. I mean, we've made a big day of it. We caught a ton of fish. I mean. Sure beautiful place, North Palm Beach. We really appreciate you letting us come and hang out with you, man, and putting up with you. <laughs> I mean, we've been hard on you. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough crowd, but I've had a really good time. I think we really showcased today what uh, a wonderful variety of species we have in this bay, and I've had a great time doing it. Well, the thing about it is, too, it, you know, we, we always like to catch great old big fish. The one they didn't see looked a big shark. Yeah. Still going, you know, you battled him for a little bit, he got off, but today is just really simple. Back to the basics, what I'd say. We've got a popping cork on, uh, what is that, 20, 30 pound braid? A uh, 20 pound braid. 20 pound braid and 30 pound, 30 leader. pound leader. Shrimp, circle hook, pop that cork, spinning rod, fun. I mean, we caught, what, nine or 10? Our 10th species we didn't put in the boat, right? The That's big shark. Right. That's right, 10 but species. We had nine species of fish in the boat. And this is really what fishing's all about, just hanging out, good times, good friends. And that sunset, beautiful. Can't get any better than this. We're out here <clears throat> offshore off of Palm Beach, uh, Singer Island right behind us. And uh, we're in about 200 feet of water, trolling for uh, wahoo and dolphin. And when, you, when you're out here on the ocean, it's it's fishing. Fishing's a little bit different, but it's just like anything else. You're you're trying to key on on certain uh, variables in the ocean, looking for something that's going on that uh, might be attracting fish. Looking for a rip line where the uh, currents weld up and it's got the bait trapped, and, and uh, there's there's a bigger fish coming in on the bait. We're looking for birds uh, flying around, diving into the water, and um, any kind of, uh, of other sign that you know, might key us into uh, to where we want to drive the boat and pull these lures. So uh, just like when you're out bass fishing, um, you know, you're looking for that, that perfect place to put your bait, and we're doing the same thing out here. Been out here most of the day. It's been pretty slow, actually, and old Captain Roddy spotted some fish showing up out there at 135 feet and uh, put us some sardines on there and we dropped them down. Got a bite or two, a couple of amberjack. Got some action going on, good fight. And then I hooked onto a bonita and it took off and the fight was incredible. And finally I wrestled it on board. And a few fish can change the whole tone of the day, you know? Yeah, yeah it was starting to drag a little bit in mid afternoon and uh, we got saw those fish and uh, were able to hook up to a couple good uh, amberjack. That really, uh, really gets your blood pumping. So. Now the sun's starting to go down. It's calmed down a little bit. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's been pretty rough today, but uh, so we're heading back in. <clears throat> but we're uh, we're in the right depth, and we're going to try to uh, catch some trolling fish. So let's see what happens. Yeah, we we had let old Jerome get in on the action. That's back right. There. He got a little slow. Man, looked up there. He's catching them right and left. He caught an amberjack, and what was that other? He fish? caught a bonita. A bonita? Yeah. We we I believe we've ruined our camera, man. Jerome, <laughs> he'll never be behind the camera again. All right, it's been another great weekend, and man, we can't thank you enough, man, Roger. We appreciate it. And getting out in the water like this, you don't have to catch a lot of fish just to make it fun. I mean, just to be out here. How can you not enjoy this? Just out here chilling out. Nobody out here much, the traffic's died down. It was a little crowded earlier, but man, just being on the water is awesome. Yeah, we're by ourselves now, and it's uh, it's gorgeous out here, so we've had a great time. We've been doing work, haven't we? We've been working hard. Yeah, working hard. It's Jerome has too, right? We, we make it look easy. Yeah, it's not as easy as we make it look, is it? <laughs> All right, we're gonna see if we can't troll up through here and get one of these things to go off crazy and show you a big fish. Don't go anywhere. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Want to keep hunting alive for generations to come?
Want to pass on our great heritage? Watch him, buddy. He's down. He's down. We got the spider. Read your kids. Drake's Adventures interactive sound books. They'll turn them into your little hunting buddies. Back up the valley. Dad, can we go hunting this weekend? Can we? Order one today, and let's get our children involved. The reality is, as an engineer, you really do look to try to make things as simple as possible. Our goal for this bow was to build the most accurate bow ever built. The result is the creation of a radically new system. You just have to shoot it to believe it. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believing. May Opta rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Nathan, we're on dry land now. I don't think you'll need your life jacket inside the truck. And I only wish my retirement investments had a life jacket on them. My retirement options are safe, secure, and guaranteed. I can't wait to get out of this life jacket and put one on my retirement investments. Nathan, we better get going. We've already fished longer than our wives expected. We're late for dinner again. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, yeah. the top choice of pros for those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Drake's Adventures, the interactive book series that gets children involved. Hey, thank you for joining Drake's Adventures segment of 3B Outdoors. Now we're heading down to Florida with Captain Roddy and Nathan for Big Mahi Mahi. Big Mahi Mahi. Yeah. Did you get a jump out of Big it? Dolph. It's a what? Big Dolph. I'm hooked up too, Roddy. Yeah. Got a big and two. Oh. Look at that dolphin. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. baby. Oh, they're jumping. Hey. Nice. Uh, he eat it off of the, uh, He eat it right off of the clip, man. Off of the Man. I'm going to the front. Look at that thing jump. Look at that. Oh, baby. You talking about a jumper. How you doing, Roddy? <laughs> Got him, baby. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you close back there? No, I'm pretty far out. <laughs> I'm not making any ground either. How far out is yours, Roddy? I'm trying to get him in. Uh, he's about 30 yards. You need 40 yards, see him? Oh, they're right that? next to each other. I hope they don't get tangled up. Yeah. Do I need to put a little more pressure on mine? Yeah. Do you get yours on the ballyhoo too? Yeah. You, I'm gonna hold on. You tell me. Yeah, you just hold, hold what you got. Trying to turn him. You wanna come on over? I'm under you. Tell me when you're ready to get the gas. Okay. Out. Tell me what to do. You want me to get the gas? I think I can do it. You think you can do it? Uh. You got him, Roddy? Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Pandemonium, baby. Uh. Uh. I think oh, mine 
Man, I heard what you done to that one. He took off. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord, that was. Uh, what did we like do? That. I've got to go to the front, Roddy. Mine, mine got mad. Looking back, I never thought I'd have the opportunity to fish the North Palm Beach, Florida flats one day and then the very next day go offshore. I want to thank Cheryl and Roddy Rossborough for the accommodations they provided Jerome and I on and off the water. They were incredible. Jerome, he was a trooper. Not only did he get the work done with the video camera, battling those rough seas, but when he had the opportunity, he grabbed the rod and reel and got the job done there as well. Now, as you know, this was not a typical bass fishing show from 3B Outdoors, but it had the perfect opportunity of fun, friends, and then the fishing was some of the finest you'll ever see. And then those double mahi-mahi there at the end where pandemonium broke loose, it could not have even been scripted any better. Thanks for watching, tagging along with us on this Florida fishing trip. Check us out on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, or even our website. I'm Nathan Light. Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors, where we always bring you quality hunting and fishing. Jumping catfish, watch him go. He got out of the